Hello YouTube and welcome to Chris and Tim's Simple How-To Videos. I am Tim. Alright, today I'm going to go over Procon, Archon. Now I was just turned on to Archon about two weeks ago. It's probably been out there for a while, but I just learned about it. We'd always been running Procon. Um, the reserve slots, spectator slots, you know, it's a little bit harder to, uh, to manipulate if you don't know your way around it. Uh, and here in Archon, as you can see, go to scoreboard, your chat, um, very simple. Stats, which I obviously don't have set up yet because I got to get my Punk Buster set up. Um, the database, you can go back and you can look at any player that you have that are questionable because there, you know, there are cheats out there and most of us want to keep them out. So this is a really good way to do, you know, a search, not just get mad at somebody because they killed you too many times and stuff like that. Um, we don't work that way. All right. Um, we do the research. We check it out. Um, in some cases, maybe they're not hacking. Maybe they're that good. But, you know, we're all average players in the one point something kill to death ratio. Um, and I realize that some of these guys can get up to two something. But when you start seeing that, 2.6 and 3 something you know you definitely question a little bit they're either that good and they're too good for you know an average size server where people are just going to get upset and leave or you know whatever the case is but you know that's basically for the individual to make that decision okay um, map list super simple um, you know you pick your map uh, right here you pick the mode whichever you want how many rounds and if you want it after this number you can change that number say if you wanted it to be number three you can change that to a number three how many rounds you want and then insert the map in there now also what I really loved about this is um, different map stages like we we like to try to run a mix mode or you know help people get their unlocks in our server so what we usually do is uh, we'll pick a bunch of different maps I uh, got the Naval Bundle, Junk Drawer, just to say a few. I've only been doing this a couple weeks, so I'm like a two-week-old with Archon. Um, but it's super, super simple. I mean, it's compared to, you know, setting up the maps on this. You go to Map List and you add that, and then when you want to change it, there's no place to save this map list. You just basically have to do it again. Uh, plugins. Basically, on the plugins, it came with boat mat, or it came, I'm sorry, it came with spam bot, in game admin, and basic game info. I had to add these multi balance and boat map, which you had to do through a file in the back end. Um, with Archon, quite simple. Uh, you go to the plugins, and they have some very cool plugins already. I and mean, I'm sure, you know, there might be something on here that somebody doesn't want or they want to add on. Uh, but I'm sure that's possible too. Also, we went from um, we're doing this through an NFO server, and let me tell you about the customer service at NFO. Incredible! You email them. I swear, I don't even think it takes two to five minutes, and you have an email back. Customer service with NFO is astonishing. I'm just going to say that, put that out there. Also, uh, Archon, they list all of these. Uh, and you just click on them. Click on them, and it's active. You know, you basically have to save your changes in, in the bottom here. Enable the log if you want these things to run. Um, but you can pick the message that wants to be said, so on and so forth. Really, I, I've never seen anything so simple in my life. Uh, your logs. If, you know, you had some things in the background that you're worried about it look at this keeps my all my log I can go back through the chat stat somebody that I might have had to remove for you know abusive language or something along that line and I can go right back into all of this and find it um, if my guys were doing something that possibly was not you know condoned I say or you know we're doing something wrong I can go back there and look into the chat um, really it, it does it gives you so much control of your server also, um, there's a little uh, thing here I noticed. Uh, now, I'm using NFO servers. I don't know if this will change for you guys or not. But anytime I change, like uh, I put my scrolling messages in my control panel. All right. Now, anytime I go down here and commit a change, for some reason, it lists my server as custom. 
Okay, well here it's normal. This is my uh, this is our server that we use to do video recordings and stuff. And here I have it locked, so obviously it's custom. But if you change the idle time in your Archon, so if I go into settings and go under gameplay, the idle time, you know, nobody wants to get kicked out of the server for just being able to use the restroom or get something to eat real quick. Uh, but when you change that, unfortunately, it puts you on a custom list. And when you try to find yourself in the server browser, see, I put DOA3 and I'm not, not listed publicly. So unless somebody actually physically knew about my server and it was set up as custom, they would not be able to find it. So it's a good idea, especially for people with new servers out there, BF4, wherever. You want them to show normal and you want to make sure you find them in your server browser. Because if you can't find it, neither can anybody else that possibly doesn't know you. <coughs> All right. Um, also, uh, if uh, I was doing that commit to change and my server went to custom, the beauty of this is you would have to go through Procon and try to figure out what happened. All right. With this, you basically just go to load and save under settings. And... You click the normal button and your server after you restart the round will appear normal again and it shows up on the map so those are my differences Archon Procon um, you had to do a lot of different things to try to figure it out and you know most people just got their server up and running like we had done with minibar um, just tried to get it running as best we can not aware of the custom problem but Archon has made all of this very simple. It's got a database if you want to check players. Um, I, I just can't say enough good things about Archon. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, my name is Tim. If you guys are interested, please subscribe. Uh, like this video. Don't like it. However, you got to. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, this is an awesome find, and I just want to say a special thanks to the AOD clan, uh, Bader, uh, which is the owner of uh, Assailants of Death. Uh, thank you for Archon, and uh, I hope everybody else sees the potential in this, and uh, we can get some cool servers out there. Thank you guys, and have a great day. Be safe.